I wouldn't say necessarily a motto, but we have a mission statement. So a mission statement that we have here is to provide fire protection, fire extinguishment, life uh, rescue, emergency medical treatment, mitigation of uh, storms and disasters, preservation of life and property, and uh, fire protection education to the community. When we get hired in the fire department, we go to extensive schooling at the fire academy, and we take national tests in the different techniques that are required to perform our duties efficiently. I don't worry about risk, but fearing the unknown and, and the challenge of what you will encounter that will challenge your knowledge and experience. So you, you're always relying on you know, your experience and knowledge to help you through situations that you might not be familiar with. Some you are, some you aren't, and uh, some days are more challenging than others. We've encountered a couple of times where you get into some situations that are a little uh, iffy, so to speak. We had an oil tank uh, delivery truck that crashed on I-95, and uh, we had to rescue the driver literally out of the burning flames of the diesel fuel that spilled over, over the highway. And uh, my, one of my crew members and I went over the wall and basically slid into the fire and pulled him out. And uh, yeah, that was a little, that was, could have been iffy. In 2017, there was a big snowstorm and we were called to a house for a fire and my crew members and I were opening up the roof uh, with axes and chainsaws and uh, nearly fell off the roof. Once we came down, we were inside and uh, I had a ceiling collapse on me. I had some uh, injuries to my neck and back and was out of work for about nine months recovering from those injuries. Uh, thankfully, I made it back and was strong. And there is a, a risk of, you know, personal injury, and uh, you know, ultimately you could perish. But um, you know, our training hopefully gets us through that and minimizes the probability of of us getting hurt. But it does happen. Teamwork in the fire department. Uh, you can think of it as uh, military teamwork, sports team teamwork. One of our pet peeves is going out solo or you know, going solo somewhere and kind of working alone. You have no partner, you have nobody to back you up. It's extremely dangerous. And so working as a team minimizes the chances of injuries like we talked about and increases the probability that your tasks will be performed to the highest efficiency, the quickest that they can be done and the minimizing of injury to civilians, ourselves, and minimizing damage. When I decided to join the fire department, you know you're gonna be faced with challenges uh, personally and professionally. And some of the things that I've experienced over my career have fulfilled me in a way that no other job could possibly do. Whether it's helping a person on the side of the road with a flat tire or delivering a baby in the middle of a snowstorm on Christmas Eve, you, you just can't find those types of rewards in any kind of job. Those are some things that have fulfilled me in my life and I feel like have taught me lessons that I bring to my personal life outside the fire department. The job in itself is very rewarding. People don't call us when they're having a good day. They call us when they're having probably the worst day of their life. And when you're able to go into the situation and help them out, you can walk away knowing that you did your best and that you know, their, their day just got a little bit better because we were there to help. A lot of people in the public are, are very outward about letting us know that you know, they appreciate our service to the community and the help that we give them. So that's very rewarding. So my family history goes back to 1912 in Harrison, New York. My great-grandfather joined the fire department there as a volunteer. And a number of years later, my grandfather, Duke, joined the fire department in Harrison and his brother as well. 
um, before World War II. The town that we grew up in, in the Maronick, was 100% volunteer. Seeing my friends, you know, join the fire department, always being around the fire department as a little kid, inspired me to join the volunteer fire department and start to get involved more with the community. After doing my initial training course, I found out from some friends of mine that you can take a test and join a professional fire department. And I thought that was the greatest thing that I had ever heard. At the time I had lived in Nurshell and I took the test in that city. And uh, a little while later, I ended up getting hired here in the city of Nurshell, where I'm now 22 years on the job. There's a saying in the fire service, everyone goes home at the end of the shift. In 9-11, 2001, we had the terrorist attacks in the World Trade Centers. Not a lot of guys that worked in the FDNY that day went home, and a lot of civilians perished as well. Instead of going down to the ground zero, my choice was to stay in Westchester with my department. We were on duty for hours and days afterwards. We had a lot of guys from our job that went down there, and some of us had stayed back and protected our own city during that time. That thought of not getting home, you think about it every day when you go to work, or you think about going home at the end of your shift. Two years after 9-11, we had our first child, John. You then take real care to make sure that everything you do gets you home at the end of your shift. To provide for your family, to raise your children, to hopefully teach them about life, to make, to make decisions that will give them a happy life when they move forward. We do a lot of charity work in the fire department. When uh, John was little, I had the opportunity to go to the children's hospital and do some Halloween decorating with some young, young kids in the ICU. Jacob was one of the kids there that I worked with that day, or played with, and um, he was about the same age as my son. And seeing him was challenging because it brought a lot of emotion. You think about your own children and the, the difficulties that kids that you're with or work with in, in charity capacities are going through. And it makes you really appreciate what you have and appreciate that you have the ability through the fire department to work with certain charities or certain hospitals, organizations, to bring some small bit of happiness to other people. My name is John Schroeder, and I'm proud to be a City of North Shell firefighter.